Hello YouTube, this is Bash for you here for week 10. We are up against Dan and Liverpoolian FC. Uh, very interesting team. Uh, very scary team to be honest too. Some very crazy breakers and some very annoying walls to be honest. Um, although, I'll talk about it. I guess I'll talk about the team in a bit. But yeah, um, teams consist of Mega Marwile. Hydreigon, Terrakian, Jellison, Amoongus, Galvangelo, Darmanitan, Gligar, Deoxys Defense, Avalog, and Wicked Tongue, with over, uh, all attacking and status user being Hydreigon and attacking user being Terrakion. Very interesting team um, when I came into like prep for this, because this team's speed tier is not that, I'm going to be honest, it's not that good. Um, it's their fastest Pokemon are both Gavantula and Terrakion, which is base 108. Although, I will say they do have sticky ups. It's very scary with the combination of Darmanitan, which is always loves to run Scarf, right? And Hydreigon's a really good Scarf, and so is Terrakion. So, and so is Gavantula, to be honest, too. So, like, he's not like he doesn't have ways to speed control. Uh, it's just that, like, for prep, it made it a lot easier for me. Uh, for, like, some of my faster mods and, like, some of my running around, like, some of speed tiers wise. Um, made it a lot easier for me, so I would say that I would say that I personally have the speed tier advantage against him, um, which is something to keep in mind going to this match. Though, um, but yeah, um, yeah, very scary team, very good breakers, right? He's got Mega Milo, Hydreigon, Terrakion, and Darmanitan. Those four, like, are like more are like some of the best breakers in the game, to be honest. Like that's like, it's like really difficult for them to sort to search in on them, to be honest. Uh, especially now that like uh, with Sun and uh, Sword and Shield, Hydreigon getting Sword Stance, um, right? Like that's gonna hit really extremely hard. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, oh, get not Hydreigon getting nasty block. Um, why did I say Sword Stance? Oh my god! I was I was thinking looking at Terraki and Mega Mawa at the time too because they also get Sword Stance. And he's got some really good cool bulky walls which are really difficult to break with the combination of Jellison, Amoongus, Deoxys Defense. Avalog actually is very annoying and Gligar is as well too. Avalog because Avalog and Gligar are gonna be his checks to my top two kill uh two kill leaders right now. Um with uh Lando T and Zero, I guarantee at hundred percent. So I wanna keep that in mind for this match. Um and try to build I also wanted to bring some like more fun sets too. Um, to be honest, um, because I, I, I wanted to bring some fire sets, to be honest. I also wanted to try to run up the score a little bit on my skip, on my kill leaders, um, a little bit, but also at the same time, I want to try to clinch, I want to try to get that, like, second seed. I don't think I could get first at this point now, but I want to get that second seed, um, to try to, um, I don't think, can I get the second seed? There's a chance I could get the second seed, actually. Um, it all depends on uh, Tesseract, the guy that like, we played with a lot earlier in the season. Um, I could get the first seed, I meant. Um, but yeah, uh, so I want to try to, I want to try to make sure, I want to try to get the bye week as well. So I'm going to build a team that I think could win, but also I want to try to get like a lot of kills on the certain mods too. Um, so yeah. Um, Going to this, there's a lot of thoughts that went into this, right? I'm gonna have I have I decided that I'm gonna bring a lot of uh, setup to be honest on this team. Um, very interesting setup, and I'm gonna build like a sort of like a wall, a two, three mo wall core that kind of try to deal with those other mods like Mega Mala, Hydreigon, Terrakion, uh, Darmanitan, right, and possibly Galvanitan too, right? So that's kind of the idea. I wanted to be able to use a wall breaker too, so. Yeah, let's go into the team we're bringing, which we're actually doing the team, team builder this week, actually, so we'll go into that. But yeah, well, first off, we're leaving off with Milotic, right? Milotic is a Recover Skull Toxic Weather Ball. I kind of wanted, wanted to throw on Weather Ball on this set, um, just for, like, you know, like, to be kind of, I kind of wanted it to be, like, some cool, like, tech. I was debating between Ice Beam and Weather Ball for a while, and you know what? I said, like, you know what? Screw it. I'm already in playoffs. Let's throw Weather Ball in here. I wanted, sh I wanted to <laughs> bring some heat with this. Um, Weather Ball, two shots of Mungus, which is really cool. Um, right, so, and Mungus can't do much to me at all, really, to be honest. So, it's something to keep in mind. Um, this can't really touch 
docent, but that's what Toxic's there for. So um, that's kind of what the set is going for. This is here to help with Terrakion and Darmanitan were the two main ones, to be honest. Those are the two main mods I wanted to deal with. But it can also deal with other mods such as like Gligar, Avalug, sort of Mega Marwa, depending if the sun's up, right? It can't deal with Mega Marwa, which is crazy to think about because of Weather Ball, you know. But yeah, um, it can also if the Oxus defense isn't uh, taunt, right? Uh, it can also talk to get too, so we can wear that down. So that's kind of the idea of the set. Try to be a check to some of his breakers, right? And like be able to like try to also be able to beat his walls down too, which is something to keep in mind. Next we got Torkoal, Rapid Spin, Flamethrower, Rest Sleep Talk, uh, Spin obviously for webs, um, uh, I know I have a feeling webs are coming this week, and I want to be able to spin them away. He does have a, sp a Spin Blocker and Jellicent, but I feel like uh, the combination of, uh, I think there's some mods on my team that could be able to deal with Jellicent, to be honest, so I'm going to try to, I didn't think I needed a, a way to pivot into it, and I'm hoping I can get the Toxic drop on uh, Jellicent, so that way that um, Torkoal is a little bit better in that situation. Um, this is here to answer, um, Mega Marwa out. Really, that and webs, right? Uh, it can also deal with it when Lucas getting up, getting up Sun is also really nice for some of my other mods. As you'll see, it helps with my Lodic, it, it's good, it helps with, you're gonna see it can help with, like, two other mods as well. Um, but yeah, th I really think that, um, this thing can be really good. Uh, Rest Talk is for the fact that, so I can keep this thing healthy. I can also use it as a Domanitan check. Um, to be honest, I could use it, maybe use it for, uh, to deal with Galvantula as well, depending on what the set is, of course. Um, and this thing deals really well with Avalok as well, so that's something to keep in mind. Yeah, but frankly, I feel pretty good about this set. Um, hopefully, hopefully it can do well this, uh, this week, but, yeah, let's see. Next to Zeror, and this is one of my fire sets, I'm really excited for this set. Um, so, Rygar, 100%, is his way of dealing with zero or otherwise he does not deal with zero or at all well at all uh maybe avalug but avalug's not gonna want to take the take this on actually um so the idea is right so i get up a bulk up he pops the weakness policy with earthquake i get up to plus three uh with sun up i two shot i two shot with blaze kick right without sun i'd have to get up a couple more bulk ups maybe up uh, if uh if the item gets knocked away which i don't actually have a way to get rid of items this week which is something to keep in mind but um yeah um yeah, I, I'm really excited for the set. Put a lot of more bulk into it. That way, I, I don't get. I believe I don't get two shot by Terrakion or Earthquake that Scarf um, after a bulk up. So I wanted to keep that in mind as well. That way, I can also boost up as well. Um, I felt like a lot of his threats were more physical as well. And Hydreigon and Garbantula are his two special set threats, right? I didn't. I wasn't sure if I expected Hydreigon. Like I don't. I didn't expect Garbantula to be Scarf this match. I really didn't think so. With the fact that I have. Um, Lando right there. I don't think he, I don't think he wants me to set up for free with Galvantula, uh, and I have a uh, and Zeror is also immunity, so I can set up with that on that too. Uh, and on um, Hydreigon for um, I didn't really see Scarf, but I could see Scarf. Like it was like a chance he could be Scarf because of the fact that it would have to be Latios, right? But um, I don't think he was gonna go with that. With some other things like uh, Klefki is usually a pretty free switch into Hydreigon. I feel like the right move kind of situation, right? Um, uh, like, I feel like there's some things, like, I could deal with it easily. Kecleon deals with, um, Scarf, uh, Hydreigon really easily, right? Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, kind of why I was sort of really put more into physical bulk. I really didn't think I needed a special bulk, right? And I wanted to get as much back from Drain Punch as possible with the recovery, right? So that's kind of why I threw it all to, like, defense instead of putting it to into HP. Um, so that's kind of the idea. Um, this thing I'm very excited for. I'm hoping that, um, I either... I can either use this to break something, like uh, Gligar or Avalor kind of situation, or the next one use, it breaks uh, those, one of those two for me as well. Uh, and that is Landorus, Earthquake, Fly, Rock Ball, Sword, Sands, Adamant. Um, this set's been really good for me this season. Um, I've obviously changed up the, the EVs. I made it a lot of times there was more bulkier, but this set's actually been very good. Um, I'm hoping that... Um, I'm thinking that maybe, like, in the f uh, I might have to, in the future, I might have to, uh, uh well, there's some weeks I, I, I think now, like, going into playoffs, I'm going to switch this up a lot, but, like, yeah, um, I feel like this thing is really good for his team, um, z Fly is really good to t try to take down Gligar, uh, Amoongus, stuff like that, right, uh, Hydreigon doesn't want to take a plus two fly kind of thing, uh, I want, the only thing that really checks this is, like, Avalog, to be honest, so I need to keep that in mind, 
Um, as I said before, Avril and Gligar both are probably coming. I 100% expect Gligar. Um, I'm going to say about 70% chance, 75% chance that Avril is coming for a lander or snaring, right? So, um, next set. I'm actually really excited about this next set. Um, took one out from the Crypto, crypto Sketchbook. Um, they love this set. Uh, in the past, they've, tried to, they've used it. Uh, I'm going to try to use it this one. And that is Iron Defense Combine Draining Kiss Door Power Klefki, right? So this thing actually could do really well. Um, the comp if I have something already asleep against, like, a Moongus, right, um, this thing could actually do really well. And, I, and if, um, I will have to say, though, Domain Attendance is kind of an issue for this. But, right, if I get up an Iron Defense, right, um, I tracking becomes less of an issue. Uh, Glygar becomes a, doesn't become an issue anymore. Uh, stuff like that, right? And by getting up the Iron Defenses, I'm boosting up my store power and getting up my Combines. And Dragon Kiss is really nice for recovery as well, right? So that's something I want to keep in mind for this match. Um, I think this could actually beat Gargar one, 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 uh, if I get up an Iron Defense beforehand. I think this could actually beat Gargar, which is crazy to think about. Um, so I'm also hoping this could break down Gargar for me. Uh, obviously, this is dependent on if Darmanitan comes, because even if I plus 6, Darmanitan still has a, a chance to 2 kill me with Firebirds, I think. Um, if I have a plus six defense, so I need to keep that in mind. Because um, Dormantan is just like an absolute monster. But I, I, there's a chance he brings Dormantan, there's a chance he doesn't. Uh, the fact that I have my Lodic there kind of might dissuade him from doing that. And the fact that I have Flashfire, um, it kind of before, like, kind of before it evolved, Mega Evolves kind of situation. And Torkoal's a decent check too, as well. So I'm, I, I don't know. He might, he might not. Um, he might also want to try to use the, the sun against me with that situation, but I think I'm fine with that. Um, oh yeah, and then like, so I also mentioned Zero. Zero also is really good with uh, Frank and whatever, but yeah, I was really excited about this set. Um, this is also my semi-check to Hydrate Gun, um, especially if it's Scarf, right? It doesn't want to be locked into Dark Pulse or Dragon move against this, right? So, yeah. Last but not least, we got Latios, Recovered Dragon Pulse, Psychic, Mystical Fire. Um, this thing, inside it, uh, one shots make them all wow, I think max HP maybe, um, with Mystical Fire, which is crazy. Um, this thing puts on a lot of pressure. Uh, obviously, like, if he brings, like, something like the Deoxys Defense, which could be a little bit annoying for the set, or, like, uh, Lickitung, maybe, depending on the set, could be annoying for the set, too. So I want to keep that in mind, but I think, I've, this is a, I think this is a nice way to also, like, be another speed creep. Like, it speeds, it's not speeds his entire team other than Scarfers, so that's, I think that's also really nice. It's also a really good breaker as well, so I want to keep that in mind for this match. But, yeah, let's go into the game. Um... Yeah, let's go into the game. I feel pretty good about these sets. I, I'm interested to see how some of these work. I'm hoping that the Klefki comes in clutch because I really want to be. I'm really excited about this Klefki set. But yeah, let's go into this match real quick. Okay. So, Dan's ends up bringing Gligar, Avalog, Wicked Tongue, Mega Mala, Gavantula, and Hydreigon. So, based off a team matchup, I'm guessing Hydreigon Scarf if it's, he's, if he's bringing a Scarf, right? Um, <clears throat> to be honest, I don't think Galvantula's a Scarfer. I think Galvantula's either Webs. I think Galvantula's Webs, actually, to be honest. Um, I think Gligar's Fizz Def, Avalog's Fizz Def. I'm guessing Wicked Tongue is like Spid Def kind of situation, right? Um, to try to help with some of the special threats. Um, I think Mega Mawaw is either Setup, is possibly Setup, um, or it's going to try to break, right? That's kind of the idea. Hydreigon is either like a Scarf set or it could be like a subset, I think. Could be another thing. So, um, yeah, interested to see what he does with this. Um, so, I believe I'll lead off with Torkoal, right? Um, in case he brings webs, he leads with Galvantula. I, I could just wrap his thing right off the bat, um, kind of situation. See what he wants to do. To be honest, he leads with Mega Mawa or Avalok. That's also really good for me. Uh, only leads that wouldn't be good for me is if he leads Gligar or Hydreigon. Even Liquid Tongue wouldn't be that bad for me, to be honest. But yeah. I'm going to lead with Torko, see what he wants to do. Um, Torko is pretty good, but other than like this and Hydreigon, right? So I said this. And I'm going to pivot out into my Lodic, try to get the Flame Orb off right off the bat. As he goes for a U-turn, that's fine, he gets momentum. Uh, he goes into Galvantula, right? And I'm going to go hard into Zeraora, right? I wanna ex I'm want i kind of expecting the either the Bolt Switch or Sticky Webs. Uh, Bolt Switch, Thunderbolt, or Sticky Webs. One of the, one of the three, so... Um, Zero is pretty good with either all of them, right? Uh, and I can always just rapid spin later. He did not bring a spin blocker. Very good for me. I can get a free spin off later. It spins on pretty freely on Avalok. I can spin on Mega Mall Wow. Just 
your spin on the Lick of Tongue. So I'm going to go out to Zeror here as they set up webs, which is interesting. It's so cool. So Zeror is, is not going to be cut with speed, though. So I'm going to I'm gonna Blaze Kick, I believe. Um, I'm going to Blaze Kick. And look at look, that does 20%. That's not even that bad for uh, But this tells me that he is pretty much max HP, max defense, impish nature, right? Or like defense, or like whatever fizz death nature kind of situation, right? I'm guessing it's impish, though, with the fact that he ran and you turn on us, he was going like relaxed nature. But yeah, um, I'm gonna bulk up in this space, though. I'm not gonna, I'm going to try to use Zero to break his team right now. Um, I could spin the webs away later. I could use Lander. I could, then I could possibly just try to sweep with Lander later on, which is something I want to keep in mind, or Cluff Key. Uh, either way, I feel pretty good. Because actually, Cluff Key is really good this match. Um, if I'm able to beat down the Mega, if I'm able to break down Mega Mawile, uh, Clef Key has a chance to win this game. So I want to keep that in mind. I want to try to uh, use that to take that to my advantage because actually he's really good this match. So I'm going to just bulk up right now in his face. Um, if he pops my weakness policy, amazing. Because um, it was Sun, I two shot. Uh, I two shot with um, Sun up with Blaze Kick. So I want to keep that in mind. Um, goes for a U-turn, which is crazy, right? So I goes out to Galvantula, and I'm just going to Blaze Kick. I'm not risking this trying to take the damage on me. I'm not Spadef at all, right? I don't have any Spadef or HP investment. I'm only having this death investment. I'm just going to Blaze Kick this, try to make sure I don't get like hit too bad by this. It goes for it pivots right back into Gligar. Um, very interesting to know. Sun's going to go away this turn, so I'm going to bulk up on this turn as well. Uh, he goes for Toxic. If he has Toxic, that sucks. Whatever. I'll deal with it. Um, goes for a Roost, which is really interesting, and that means I get another bulk up off, right? So that's going to be really clutch for me. If I if he pops the weakness policy here, I will be at plus five attack um, with zero, or, which he does. And look how much damage that does. It doesn't do much at all, right? So I'm going to go for a blaze kick here. And I get low roll, but I get the burn. Um, I believe the roll was... I'm, gonna, I'm really going to pull up the roll right now. Zero or a, a plus five. Is that right? Adam or Charlie? Yeah, I was adamant, right? Yeah, I was adamant. Um... Adamant, Gligar, max, I'm going to go max defense, 248 HP, and just nature, Glaze Kick. Okay, it wasn't a, ma it wasn't, it was like a mid-roll, I believe, right? 47%, let's say, how much of a chance was that? That was about a 68, uh, that was about a, uh, a little bit of a lower roll, I would say. Um, the roll is from this position is 44.7 to 52.8 on a plus five uh, zero blaze kick to five guys. So, to be honest, I would have to have gotten like a max roll if I didn't get the burn next turn, which I don't know if that would have been the play. I might have drain punched first and then blaze kicked. So, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, he goes for another Earthquake, doesn't do much, this 12%, right? I could have also went for another bulk up and just be able to clean two-shot this, um, which is probably the better play, because um, that means that, um, right, Earthquake's going to do even less, right? Uh, Earthquake's going to do even less, right? That means Blaze Kick does 51 to 60%, right? So that's something to keep in mind. Um, if I went for another, if I went for another bulk up, which probably was the play, I'm sort of like risking the roll kind of situation, but yeah, um, so I get the burn, uh, now I just have to get like a similar roll, which I miss, which is kind of like nice for him, um, gets another earthquake off, so it's about, so like, it wouldn't have made a difference wise, uh, if I got the roll the next turn, right, um, for that, because he would have gotten the same amount of damage off the burn. Uh, oh, like he actually probably got more, but I'm gonna drain punch here, get that HP back right quick. Gligar went down, and at this point, I think it's game over. Um, drain punch is really nice to put uh, to bring my recovery back up, and I'm just gonna just drain punch again. And at this point, it looks like drain and GG at this point. Uh, sound, by the way, you sound like I dragon. That's by the way, you just put in the chat at GG. I'm guessing head dragon is not scarf. I already know, I already have a feeling Galvantula isn't already. Um, and I can just blaze kick, drain punch, plasma fist the rest of his team down. Um, so, 
So, something, yeah, just something to keep in mind, I guess. Uh, also, this crit does not matter here. There's a crit right there. Does not matter 100% of the time. Um, so, want to keep that in mind. But yeah, um, we were talking after the chat, and he said the way he could have possibly got back in this game is if he intimidated slash glide guard, like pivoted between glide guard, right? But like, he needs to keep in mind, right? He probably only got, would have gotten like one intimidate off on me, right? Because, uh, unless he year turn out, right? He would have to U-turn out, probably was what, what he was thinking, right? He'd probably U-turn out and go into intimidate and pivot back out into glide guard. Um, but I could have set up another bulk up. But if you hard switch from glide guard into mega mall at any, uh, mega mall at any point with, uh, as it's clicking blaze kick, that thing's dead. So, um, but yeah, um, I'm, that's very good for us. The 6-0 is very good for us. Sarah got 6 kills. Uh, very good for um, me for putting myself in a position to actually, like, um, to try to uh, get this second seed or first seed, right? Um, now we are 8-2, plus 22. Um, if Tesseract loses his last two games, if Tesseract loses his last two games, um, then, and we win our last game, we overtake him, uh, have just, like, pretty much, um, unless he loses 1-0, 1-0, and I, and I only, uh, and I only win the last week 1-0, I think would have to be. That's the only chance of him not not be not be not being able to take him over, um, and then for Zuch, uh, if he loses any of his last weeks, right, um, last last game or two, and I win the last game, I am in clinched already. Or if I beat him in differential purposes, and we get the same record kind of thing, uh, say like we went out if I beat him in differential, um, and also for tied, I believe I took him over because I beat him in. Uh, head-to-head uh, -head. so something to keep in mind um, but yeah zero went off um, this game fantastic I was really excited about this set I'm really happy it worked um, yeah GG to Dan sorry that was a six out sorry about that burn that burn was that burn sucked because it now put, it put, it put the roll like a lot better in my favor and earthquake did not do as much to me um, so yeah um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, obviously, I I told I mentioned earlier I made the misplay. I should have went for plus six uh, attack kind of situation. I would have came two shot would have been better for me. Um, but yeah, uh, to all you guys watching, um, thank you all so much for watching. Um, until next time. Actually, let's just say this. Uh, last week we're playing Pokenope. Um, I believe Pokenope is looking for a playoff position as well so we'll see how it goes with that but yeah uh thank you all so much for watching um gg to dan sorry about the of course the hacks with the burn the whole situation um but gg uh thanks all so much for watching until next time bash